After Hal Spielman's wife of 35 years passed away, he needed to transition back into single life, but found very little help for senior men on how to do so. I found that there was an enormous gap in information, almost to the point of, of recognizing that this is a very neglected population, a uh, segment of our population, and there's very little information out there for men in this situation. And yet, uh, clearly, they're in need of help. For example, the suicide rate on widowed, mature men is extraordinarily high. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. With a background in sociology and market research for some of the world's largest companies, Spielman partnered with longtime friend Mark Silbert to help fill this need. My love is creating things and, and telling stories. Um, and so when Hal mentioned that, I thought maybe with his experience, his market research background, and my way of putting thoughts into words and, and, and conveying a story, we might be a good match. So we developed this concept and we called it Suddenly Solo. Our objective in setting up Suddenly Solo was to be able to provide information uh, on what other people have done in similar, similar situations. We've interviewed uh, over a thousand mature, widowed or divorced men and over 600 widowed or divorced women, all within the category of 55 and up, primarily in their 60s and early 70s. So with all that research, we decided that two things would help us get this information out. One was the establishment of the suddenlysolo.org website, which is very dynamic, very active, uh, contains lots and lots of information from our research, both primary and secondary research, uh, all aimed at providing men, and much to our surprise, women as well, with the things that will help them in their single uh, lifestyle. Along with that has come a new book called Suddenly Solo, that uh, the uh, guidebook, a roadmap for the mature widowed or divorced men. But it summarizes and provides um, really very actionable information from the earliest points where a man becomes single, as simple as things like, uh, where's the checkbook? Or how do I get my shirts done? Or, or uh, what should I eat and what shouldn't I eat? Very basic kinds of questions that frequently the former spouse dealt with. And now he had to deal with those himself. And for many men, it's a big problem. For example, we've discovered that the kitchen is the last great frontier for these guys to cross. Uh, food preparation, food storage, food handling, uh, cooking. These are things that these guys haven't done for a long time. So uh, as part of the research that we've done to create the whole website and the whole Suddenly Solo organization, we've come up with some things that I think are very um, somewhat self-evident to, to women, but guys had no idea. But then it leads into the whole uh, aspect of uh, dating, do you want to date, how do you date, hot topics, uh, responses to questions that we call Ask Cal, uh, a whole section called Sex and Relationships, how do you meet women, and what the new culture is like, and what kind of behavior you can expect from the people you meet, both men and women, and what kind of uh, behavior might be comfortable for you in this new situation. I think we've discovered something that needed to be said and needed to be put out there, and I think we're helping a lot of people. I, I take great satisfaction in that, and some of the dialogue that we've gotten off of the Facebook site, and, and in fact, uh, some of the Twitter comments that we get too, indicate that people are relating to it, and, it's, and they find uh, an element of solace in some cases, uh, and some practical hints too, where um, they now know that uh, uh, there actually are expiration dates on foods. And this website is like an onion. Just keep peeling it back. There are more and more layers in there, there are more videos uh, of uh, people talking about their life experiences, uh, and hopefully you will find those not just of interest, but of great value to you in your new lifestyle. For Push Pause in Sandy Point, this is Eric Alfredo.